Jen, and in today's video, <laughs> I will be reacting and reviewing to episode 9 of Kaguya Sama. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Best girl why? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on? Miko has finally realized my Yume was like, mm, you know, I don't want to be a part of this group anymore. I'm going to go back to being an idol. <laughs> I'm going to go back to my girlfriend. <laughs> But no, that's not the reason. In my head canon. Yes, that's the reason. But <laughs> it has to be because she comes and stumbles on the most awkward situation. <laughs> oh, my baby, my baby. Oh, best girl, I am so sorry. <laughs> it's not what I want. It has to be a reference or something. You can go. <laughs> Chica. Yeah, for the good or for the bad. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, because he was nowhere in there. Oh my god! <laughs> Rip. Really? Really? baby. The more I hear this song, the more I think a hero from Strike 2. <laughs>
Okay. Interesting. Ow. Yeah, you probably don't want to be sent to the hospital again, do you? Both. <laughs> yeah, definitely both. But you're getting it though. Because it makes sense because it's in the opening, too. Good job. You've got this. Yeah, but uh huh. Yeah, how can you do that when he's holding? <sighs> oh my god, so pretty right there. I can't. No, Cheryl Gunning, you're perfect.
Well, that's it. This mission failed. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> Is she got me? Oh my god. Well, I mean, that's true leaders for him. Oh my god. Baby, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you could ask Kalia and Chica. Maybe you and Miko. Yeah, those three. <laughs> Here comes the devil. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Stop. 
Yeah, you might as well go ahead and try it on now. What if somebody walks in on them? Oh god! <laughs> Here comes the Miko Mask Girl! What if it's Chica though? It's Miko. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yeah, looks good on you. Basically, yeah. Are you sure? Because you can get that adjusted if they need to. Mm. Um, because that's because she has small boobs. <laughs> So you'll look good though. Oh, even my best light pony too. <laughs> Dad, you got this. Damn, that's next week. <laughs> yeah, say pony. I think it's already awake and poop. <laughs> I hate the fact that <clears throat> we got something until next week to see you cheer. Oh my god, it's gonna be so good. Poor Miko, though. Miko. The best girl Miko is just known for walking into misunderstandings. <laughs> you feel so bad for her. You're like, poor baby. Like, oh my god. You poor thing. Like, you just come in at the wrong moment. Like, ugh. If only it was Cheryl Gade or Chica, it would be so much better for Miko. <laughs> Miko was like, she opened it, and then she's like, you know what? Nah, nah, nah. I I've already seen enough. Let me just close the door, and let me just go home. <laughs> I love her so much. She's so precious. <laughs> cutest thing ever. Oh my god. Just gotta feel bad for her. Misunderstanding in a nutshell. Our poor baby. <laughs> but I really want to see she got me to her now. That's gonna be the best thing about next Saturday. I mean, ooh. I know they ain't probably going like, no. Oh my god, this is gonna be so freaking good. You might do something cartwheels or something. They probably might not. It just, it's just going to be like old flags and twirling the umbrellas and everything, which would be interesting just to see him, you know, this might really bring his spirits up. Maybe. I mean, because Ishigami, I love him so much. He's probably like maybe my second, um, second or third favorite boy in this show. But like, I feel like even though the first time I met him, Ishigami is very like, emo as fuck but you know what? that's okay i love that about him and i've always wondered if there was ever going to be an episode where his spirit is really uplifted he gets to be more happy and cheerful and so maybe for an episode next week it doesn't even have to be until the rest of the dang series just for one week one day 24 hours 12 hours whatever 30 freaking minutes which is what it's gonna be for him to, like, you know, be happy. I mean, the only time we always see him happy is when he's just playing in games and shit. But that's okay. I mean, it, it's gonna be interesting to see him cheer next week. Because out of all the people, I never would have thought that Ishigami would join 
the cheerleading squad, I would have assumed maybe Chica because Chica has that upbeat pep. Mm, Kaguya, um, not so much. <laughs> I think Kaguya would be a little too embarrassed. I don't know, but like, uh, honestly, seeing Ishigami in like a regular girl uniform was actually really nice. He looked really good. He kind of reminds me of um, Yusuke from P5, where like, yeah, he, he honestly really dead ass. He looks almost really similar to Yusuke. And that if you put him in maybe a Yukata or something really nice, he could instantly be a girl just like that. He is very masculine, but he has a lot of feminine qualities inside of him, especially when you see him in the freaking school uniform. You're like, oh my god, like, if you saw your hair out a little bit more, you actually look like a girl. You look so Oh my god! This is just gonna be a really good episode next week, and I honestly can't wait. I mean, maybe something bad might happen. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> anything can literally happen with this show, but who knows? We ain't gonna know until next week. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episode 9 of Kaguya Sama. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single night. Join my squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially on next Saturday for episode 10. Bye, guys.